Hey guys, Ben here. Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Sticker Star. So, last episode, um, hold on one second. Last episode, we have taken down Bowser Jr. And, with that, comes the final trial, which is fighting Bowser. But, before we do that, we need to do a lot of collecting. Because, if this game hasn't drilled it into your mind yet, you have to prepare a lot of thing stickers if you just want an easier time with the game. And that's because a lot of thing stickers just invalidate bosses and enemies during this final fight. So I have compiled a couple of things and I feel like should help us get ready for this final fight. Because this is the last episode of Sticker Star and as we speak, uh, I have gotten, uh, I have gotten ready and downloaded Origami King early so I can get ready to play it on launch date for um, when I do the Origami King Let's Play. I'm gonna grab these real quick because they're the easiest to obtain. Because I think there's like three scissors in this game. Anyway, let's go play a thing! Probably for the last time. Actually, uh, I might do another episode where I complete the sticker museum since, you know, that's kind of what most of this has been, you know, setting up for. But, um, you know, um, probably gonna do that in the later episode, sort of like how when I'm gonna do Super Paper Mario's, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, fl uh flip side and flop side. Pit of 100 trials. So, right, we're in stickers. Okay, and so we have the tape, we have the scissors. Now, what's next on the list? Okay, so we have the radio. We're gonna need a couple POW blocks, actually. So, let's go get some of those. Oh yeah, and while we also need POW blocks, we also should stock up on e-cameras. At least maybe one or two. Then get a couple slap hammers. And what's over here? Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Okay. Here, why not? Let's get a- let's get a- let's get a couple of these! There we go. Okay, so we have that. Oh yes! Okay, we are missing one thing as well. I hope I have it with me? I do not. Okay, we are going to need another fridge. And then we are running out of coins really fast. So it's a good thing we stockpiled up on a bunch of coins. Okay, so this will probably be the last time we fling a thing! <laughs> So we are going to fling a fridge over there, get that sticker, and let's see, what else What else could we stack up on? Because we might- oh yes, I need the POW blocks, right. So let's go back to the best world in the game, World 4, and we're gonna get over here and get ourselves some shiny POW blocks. And the reason for this is because POW blocks have a chance to crumple. And we can get one more, so I might as well, like, I don't know, uh, sell something real quick. I don't know, how much will the super leaf get me? Uh, or the shiny leaf get me? 50! Okay, so that honestly gives us, um, two more POW blocks. So I guess I might as well just sell a tail sticker. Because we only need one, and we might as well just use the shiny ones. Let's just grab two more of these, and we don't have enough coins or space. So, with that being said, I think we are very prepared for this fight. Unfortunately, here's the problem. We are going to need a bunch of throwaway stickers, and I'm gonna have to explain why in a bit. Well, I mean, I guess I can, I, I can let the game explain for itself. So let's go hop back on Wiggler or um, Flutter is his new name, his new reborn name. And let's head over to Bowser's castle. Ooh, okay. Okay, looking kind of scary. Oh yeah, this, um, there is a Smash stage based off of this, too. Oh, man, I play too much competitive. Anyway, here we go, in we go. Hopefully we can find a save block, because I do not have one on me. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay, but this looks kind of spooky. Kind of reminds me of Paper Mario 64, where you have to run up and uh, meet Peach for the first time. And for the last time of the game, if you really want to go that far. But, um, this door- Ooh! But who's that? Well, well, well! 
very impressive. You two somehow managed to make it all the way here. Eventually. Kamek, so you've decided to show your face again, eh? You've been a real pain since day one. We're not going to put up with your shenanigans anymore. This is it. Oh, you're quite all right about that, my dear. You've come all this way now, and neither of us can back down. Let's make sure this is our final encounter. And here we go. The time for posturing is long gone. I say we fight it out until one of us falls. Agreed? Then let's go. So, the final gatekeeper of the Bowser is actually Hammock. And this is why I wanted to set up some throwaway stickers. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sack some shiny stickers, but I think that'll be fine in the long run. Ah, I almost forgot. Before we get started with the fighting, let me do that one little thing. And we are going to get all of our stickers turned into flip-flops. So we got to remember which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones, but... We're not letting the stupid trick hold us back. Let's flip-flop that annoying face of his silly. What? You're just a sad little sticker from a dim little sticker star. You're useless without your stickers. I'll tell you what. You just flap there in the breeze when I trounce Mario, okay? So here we go. Uh, Kamek's gonna make dupes. And we really need... This triple! Very nice. Okay, um, let's see. Do we get coins back? So that's kind of scary because we won't have too much for, um, what's it called? Uh, the actual roulettes if we need them. But, uh, alright. Hopefully we don't mess up any action commands. Okay, 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 that's fine. They have, like, no HP. Okay, maybe we should have stocked up on coins, maybe? Okay, we got everything! I was very scared. Okay, so we did that in the limited amount of stickers that we needed. So that wasn't so bad. Very scared. Ah, <laughs> I see. It's no wonder you've had such success in gathering the royal stickers all this time. I'm magical, but enough to admit it. You two are quite strong. At least, strong enough to defeat me. But King Bowser holds the final sticker and is infinitely stronger than the others. No power in the world can surpass its dazzlingly shiny power! Ah! Just thinking about how did King Bowser will turn you to confetti is delectable. So delectable that I do not fear my time of vanishing! <laughs> King Bowser will destroy you! King Bowser will destroy you! King Bowser! Wow, okay. And everything turns back. Flip-flop magic is broken. So yeah, that's gone. Um, hopefully there's a save block. I don't know, why would Bowser have a save block in his little castle? Anyway. Guess it doesn't really matter in the end, does it? Um. Oh wait, is there actual level? Oh yes, I remember this! Okay, yeah, so there is level left. Okay, you go a little faster if you jump, but at the same time it gets very risky. So, yeah, alright, let's hope we don't fall on the spikes, because that would not be good. There's a couple obstacles in the way. Oh. Okay, nice. Oh, okay, good. Alright. And... Oh. And then we just move on. Whew. And in we go. Down we go. And, oh, I think... Is this it? Mario! It's Peach! Okay, so this is it. Oh man, I was not prepared for this. Hey, that's Princess Peach! Isn't she the apple of your eye? Quick, we should save her while Bowser's not around! I don't know why he wouldn't be around, because he's right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, it's about to go down, and I have not saved. I should have saved. I should have saved. Maybe I should- Oh, and there we go. There's his introduction. Whew. And he falls down like a sticker. There we go. Whew. <clears throat> At long last, Bowser. Hold on a sec. You're all sparkly. You're sparkling from the royal sticker. We're not uh, afraid of you. Oh, hey, Kirsty. All right, you good? We fought up. Uh, we fought our way up here, and now it's time to rip that royal sticker right off your nasty forehead. So, 
give it here! Hmm. Oh, he's not speaking. Oh, wow. Okay. The corridor. Here we go. Guess he's not going to give away Peach that easily. So here we go. So, those little things are going to be a nuisance. So, ooh, hopefully we can get something good here. Uh, should I go for the special? Run it. Yes. Okay, unfortunate. But we still get a Fire Flower double. Doesn't get us too much, but... So what we're going to do here is, I believe we just need to tape this area shut. Where's the tape? I think it's at the end, actually. Um, also, hello? Okay. Right, so we're going to take this, and I believe this should clog stuff up. And then, let's see, we might need to take these guys down one by one. Hmm, we're gonna get damaged by the spike top, so I don't know how good of an idea that is. I guess we can start off with the shiny jump. Okay, uh, action commands maybe? Okay, everything tapes, and even the stuff in the back! There we go, so that's the strat. Bowser should be able to get free himself. Uh, is he gonna live for that? Okay, no, but... Everyone else is stuck. Let's see if we can get something lucky here. Nope. Well, I mean, we still could have gotten something, but that's unfortunate. Okay. So, let's see what we can get. Um... Guess get rid of the swooper, hopefully. Okay, yeah. But... Okay, we blocked that hit from Bowser. Okay, we're running out, so... I don't know, I'm hoping we get something so we can get rid of that sp Spiny? No. Maybe if I use a hammer action command, we could be fine. No! Why, game? Ooh, 10. That's not great, actually. Um, okay, so things are falling apart. That's fine, though. Um, I think... Let's just use a high heal and see... This only hits one. Come on. One. Two. Okay, we're getting a little unlucky. Um. This fire bro is about gone though. I just need to knock it out. There we go. Okay, so it's gone. Okay, we block that. And we get a shiny jump for it. Oh! Okay, we blocked that one too. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, tape still hasn't gone off yet, which is good. I'm gonna use the shiny hammer. Great, I'll take it. And Bowser gets three, no crumple though. Okay, we block that. I'm gonna spin here. Nope. Oh man! I, I, none of my com- none of the combos that I want to set up are working. But, uh, what can I do here? Hmm. I could try for the crumple here with the pow blocks that- okay, there they are. Crumple? Yes! Okay. Well, wait, I can't because he's just gonna free the next turn. Damn, I'm stupid. That's fine. Um, I did get a bunch of these big shiny iron jumps, so... Let's make use of them. Okay, come on. I need a double for a good combo. Okay, good. That third one would have been nice, but that's fine. We just gotta pray that this POW block does what I need it to do. And I guess I can high heal it. Sure, let's see how that works out. Okay, did the gamble. It worked out. I don't know if it's like a 100% chance of working, but okay. Um, <laughs> Mario's just surprised as much as I am. Uh-huh. Yeah, excellent. 
Oh, oh. Okay, even more. Okay, uh, how much does that do? Okay, that did quite a bit, actually. Uh, are we gonna switch phases yet? No. But, we still got a lot more game to go. So, I'm gonna go another one. Okay, coin. I feel like coins are easier to get. I think I just jinxed myself, but let's see. Okay, there we go. So, we got the double. Again. So, I'm saying... Go for another... Pow here. And then... Another big shiny iron jump. I messed up. Oh, we still got the crumble though. Let's go. Strong damage. Good, good, good. Okay, what else? Okay, nothing. Because Bowser can't really attack yet. So let's see how long we can push this advantage state. Okay, unfortunate. Alright, alright, things are getting a little heated. I wonder how much a normal thing- I'm afraid because he's super spiky, which is why I've been using these iron jump stickers. Uh, well, I guess I can flashy iron jump. Or shiny, because it's not gonna do much. This one looks pretty decent, actually. We'll do more if it was crumpled, though, of course. Okay, we blocked that. Okay, he's moving back. Okay, so there's- Alright, so we're going to the next phase of the boss fight. Alright. And he's gonna heal up a little bit, right? Because, you know, the game has to you know, progress a little bit more. And there we go, there's the Womp. Okay, so next here, I'm gonna E-Camera it. That did not work. Whoa, wait! It almost did. Oh! There we go. So that's why I wanted that. Ugh. That's why I wanted to get that. Um, what's it called? Uh, scissors, right? Oh, oh, he attacks! Oh, okay, and they give me a flashy e camera, so it's like, hey, you know, you should probably use this if you want to win. <laughs> so the game doesn't like permanently lock you, into which is which is cool. I like that. Okay, here we go. Um, so I'm going to. E camera. Hopefully, I get the right command here. Okay, because we can't really hit Bowser right now, so I'm gonna flash the E camera, and yeah, because you can't. Okay, I messed that up. Uh, fall, fall, fall. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good damage, but we need the scissors to actually deal good damage. Hopefully, he doesn't get up this next turn. Okay, yeah, okay, so, this is where you'd use the scissors. I was gonna be like, I wouldn't be surprised if you would get up, but, like, then again, it would be very scary to have to definitely get two, a guaranteed two hit on the battle roulette. I am not speaking with the right terms today, excuse me. Anyway, so that's gonna cut up, oh, right, I should have done the action commands too, but... Okay, so, um, we're getting in a little bit of a dangerous situation here. So hopefully we can heal and attack on this next turn. Okay, unfair. Well, <laughs> it's not really unfair, but... There we go. So I'm gonna heal this next turn, right? And then... Let's see, what else can we do? Uh, sure. I didn't get the action command. That sucks. Okay, and... Nice. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Okay, oh. Boy. Okay, that was unfortunate. That's fine, we're still living with a couple of coins on us right here. Um. But, uh. I'm gonna use one more. Coin. 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 Mushroom again! Wow, okay, the timing. Let's see. I'm going to pow and then use another iron jump. There we go. Four. Crumple. There we go. Uh, then you're not going to do anything here. 
I'm gonna save my stuff. I'm curious. Let's let's try it. Just just to test. Yeah, okay, the crown does hurt you. Maybe I should have used the shiny jump to test. But like, if I wasn't gonna use those flashy stuff anywhere, ex because well, this is the end of the game, right? So yeah, so we basically have to use our iron jump if we want to jump on him. Okay, double. We don't get the heal though, which sucks. So we'll have to use one of our heals here. And flashy hammer. Okay, got it. So that should give us 60. There we go, back to full. Okay, good. Very scary, but okay, we got it. Okay. He's still like rolling into us very slowly, so it's kind of like easy to get the timing. Or like easier. Running out of coins, so I'm just hoping he'll move on to the next phase soon. Maybe. Okay, block that. Let's see. Okay, oh, yeah. next phase. Coming in. Uh, walls are coming down. And there we go, the lava. So here. Okay, and yeah, he's gonna heal here. So. Okay, now he's down to 300. So I'm hoping I can. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Let's see. So, I guess we have to use our fridge card right here. Okay. Action commands just spam the A button until it works. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about the lava bubbles here. There we go. Big deal. Pal? Pal? No. Okay, coin? Oh, wait! We still gotta- Oh, wait, we're not gonna get anything. Huh. <sighs> Sucks. Okay, that's fine, though, because now... I have I have the boom box that I kind of want to use here. Oh, we have shaved ice too, so we didn't really need that fridge. But uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so with the boom box, now we can do extra damage with the. Oh, we we still got a bunch of these left. Okay, I prepared. That's good. Okay, let's see. How long can we push this turn? How do we get the excellent? Oh. Oh, do I have to keep mashing the A button? I guess that would make sense. There we go, now we don't have to worry about him being crumpled, but if he gets crumpled, that would be an extra. Can't move though, because we froze them. So Bowser doesn't really want to move on his own for this turn. Pow. Ah! <laughs> that was one off. That's fine though, because we can still use our big shiny iron jumps on this turn. Next phase? Nah. Alright, still... I don't know how long they're gonna stay frozen. Oh no! Moving on, okay. Um... I believe this is the last one, cause... I think? Uh, are we gonna... Okay, yeah, we see Peach, so this is the last one. Whew! Alright, so now his max health is 250. And now all we can really do is set up that tail. Hopefully get the action command right. We have, we have three tries to do this. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, I messed up. That sucks. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, bad, bad. That was bad, that was bad. That was fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We go again. Okay, well, that didn't work out, but... Chain chop? <sighs> My god! That is stressful! Okay, come on. Come on, just hit it, just hit it, just hit it. There we go! And they're going to be knocked off, and that's the end of the fight. Whew, alright, 26 minutes of recording so far. No, the royal sticker fell about- <laughs> True. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh, maybe we should save Peach, you know? Good, I good idea. I guess we can't really reach her. That's unfortunate. Maybe we can paperize? Oh, no, there's more to the game. Yep. Well, that sucks. But uh, the power of the royal sticker.
turns Bowser into cardboard, and look at how chonky he is! There he is. Look at him taking 3D shapes, and now this is the true final fight. One. Heal? No. Unfortunate. But we still get two. Okay, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, honestly, uh, not really much you can do. I get, like, I don't know. Yeah, there's... This fight is kind of like... Okay, yeah, you are fighting a big boy, and... Let's see if this... No, okay, no, he just slaps you. Damn. But, uh... Yeah, so, here you just want to waste all of your stickers, because... Or, just as many stickers until, well, the game gives the cutscene. Because you're just going to do one damage, and it's not going to be fun. Yeah, so, we have a bunch of shiny stickers we can just... Or shiny hammer stickers we can kind of just throw out. Show off our hammer action command. Oh my lord! Ooh! Uh, cutscene? There we go. That last royal sticker will be our end. Its sparkling power is too strong. Our stickers are, are of no use. Long pause. Mario, it's come down to this. You have to use me as a sticker. Listen carefully, Mario. The only thing strong enough to match the sparkling power of, a royal, of that royal sticker is sparkling power originating from the same sticker star. That can only be me- I almost said full credits. With my shine and your bravery, you can strike Bowser with the power of a thousand stickers. Do you understand? Say you do. I'm going into the album now. And if you sell me at a shop, I will never forgive you! And in you go. And there's Kirsty, the final sticker in our collection. Well, do we do it? There's only one last thing to do. Thanks for sticking me up, Mario. I'm giving you all my shine. You have to win. Looking back, I realize I kind of forced you to come on this adventure with me. I'm sorry. We've been through a lot, but it was fun. And now... Goodbye. <sighs> Damn. Kirsty's goodbye! Oh! And here we go! Ooh, we're a big boy! One. Two. Three! Yeah, you're forced to get this. Three! No, four! No, five! Here we go! This is the maximum overdrive. Now we have to take down Bowser in this one last straw. I got a bunch of flashy jumps, so let's use them all! Here we go! His defense is down, so now our damage will be normal, I think? So now we can actually take down this hunk of 5,000... Okay, maybe not that one. But this one, for real! <laughs> Damn. Honestly? I liked that parting Kirsty goodbye. But the thing is, is that this game was so, like, light on content that... You know, you couldn't really resonate with Kirsty. I feel like if Kirsty had more development besides, oh, I'm captured, which was pretty much m most of the stuff I really remember by. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, that's pretty much. I don't know. Like, I, I'm kind of mixed on it now that I really talk about it, but I don't know. I still kind of liked it. I feel like if there was more time to develop Kirsty. It would have been a really, really nice way to, like, say goodbye to the character. But, alas, how unfortunate that, well, this game ended up being what it ended up being. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of sad, because, you know, I'm so nostalgic for this game, and, you know, I have to, I, well, I accept, I accept its flaws now. At first, I was like, oh, damn it. But, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna focus here. Okay, there we go, I think I'm fine now. But, like, Except it's flaws now. At first, you know, when I was like 13, when when this when did this game come out? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I was relatively young, and I was very upset with how people treated this game. I'm like, wait, I had fun in th with this game. Why 
why didn't other people have fun with this game? And you know, I would try to make as many, like, arguments as I could about why this game isn't as bad, but I, it's still, it's still kind of bad. Like, taking out XP, giving no reason to fight, was an interesting choice to take out and just to have no story compared to the first three that were pretty solid games. Story-wise, gameplay-wise, I guess Super Paper Mario is up for debate, depends on what you like, but... Yeah, that's pretty much, that's... Really, all the rants I can really talk about for Sticker Star here. I don't know, um, actually, I don't know about this one. Maybe Big Shiny Iron. Let's see how much this all does overall. Oh, and the hands are gone. Okay, one more. And one more. But yeah, despite all of like the the things that I realized about this game, I, I still like it. And it it's the weird because Norma That's the power of nostalgia. It's crazy. Like, oh my god. And just having Perma 5 uh stickers per turn is crazy insane. Also, I kind of want to use that flashy jump sticker. Uh, should we try to use the flashy infinity jump for the meme? Could, would it even work? Well, let's try it out. And while we're at it, let's just use all our stickers because there's no going back. There's no post game. The game just resets you at the start. There you go. And you get 99 for that. Okay, let's see if we can get all of the infinite jumps. No. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate because I think... Yeah. Wow, what a turn. <laughs> wow. There we go. But yeah, I don't know. I still had pretty fun... Uh, I, I, I guess I can keep this to the end. Um... I don't have that many iron jumps. Ooh, wait. Can we still crumble, maybe? Wait. Oh, no. Um. Uh-oh. Do I have to use hammer action commands? My one bane about this game? Oh, no. Crumple? Nah. Would it be possible to crumple cardboard? Come on. I don't know if this deals damage or if it just stuns, but let's see what happens. No, nothing. Okay, we got the excellent. Okay, good. Big damage. Not so big damage. Nice. Okay, a little bit more left. Okay, here we go. He's, he's panted! There's a little bit more to go! I think we're all set here. Come on, I just want the final one to be excellent. No, come on! There we go, and we're gonna end off... No, no, um, big finish. That was kind of anticlimactic. Well, I guess you get the cutscene, but I don't know. It feels really weird that it's just like, ooh, bling, and then he's gone. And, well, now Bowser's back to normal paper, and there it is. Kirstie's gone, but we did it. We fulfilled her wish. And we have collected all of the royal stickers. Thus completing another Let's Play. The third one I've completed. So. Uh, it just feels very satisfying to complete all these games that I started so long ago. And... Fulfilling my young wish of beat Fulfilling my young wish of beating the game Or you know just doing all these let's plays and doing what I couldn't finish five years ago And we saved the wonderful princess peach the fair maiden. Thank you Mario I knew I could count on you as always now that the royal sticker has been peeled off Bowser should finally come to his senses He's been beaten flat, but he's probably used to that by now, so I don't think we need to worry too much. And... 
I forgot how this game ends, actually. So this all came about because of the stick, the six royal stickers that rode in on the comet the night of the sticker fest. The power to grant wishes can bring disaster if used without wisdom, wouldn't you say? Yep. Look at them all. And Mara just looks down at them. That's cool. Ah, so those are the royal stickers. I imagine it was quite a challenge to get to gather all six. Yeah, <laughs> just a little. But thanks to your hard work, my wish for peace in the kingdom, or rather the wish of everyone throughout the land came true. Now please, use the power of those royal stickers to grant your own wish. Mario, what is your wish? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. With all the power in the world. And the sticker Comet is back. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, and there's the, 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 the old toad! That's sick! And then there's the... Are those all the merchants? Did we un- Did we unta the one in World 4? Wait a second. There's one in World 1, there's one in World 3, then there's one in World 5- No! <laughs> The one is still gone! He's still frozen! People of the Mushroom Kingdom, tonight our symbol of peace, the Sticker Fest, has finally been revived. But this joyous moment did not come to pass through the power of the Sticker Comet. No, it was brought about by the bravery of Mario, who returned the royal stickers to us. And by the power of all of you who- uh, Bowser? Hey, what are you doing, man? Who wished so fervently for the Sticker Fest to return. Hey, uh, hey, whoa, hey, uh, uh. no. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, Kirsty's back! So that buy was for nothing, I guess. Please tell me you aren't trying to touch the sticker common again. You know what I think? I think you're a troublemaker, and your troublemaking has made trouble for everyone. Hm. Being brought back to life by Mara's wish was definitely nice. But if it's like this every year at the sticker fest, I may have to seriously reconsider my career path. <laughs> and Bowser's like, ha ha ha, yeah, you know, uh, let's forget that I tried to restart everything again. Oh, and here we go. And at the start is Luigi. That's right, because, and at the bottom it tells you, we found all five Luigis. So now he leads the parade. So, fun little way to utilize that Easter egg and to congratulate you. But, um, yeah, there we go. That's Paper Mario Sticker Star from beginning to end, even though the first five episodes were done on my old crappy iPhone. Um, usually, at the end of every playthrough, I kind of just talk about the game and my feelings, so I kind of talked about most of it during the final Bowser fight, which I felt like, I don't know, maybe in hindsight, maybe not, like, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the right timing, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so final thoughts about the game, um, it is very... Uh, lacking in a lot of departments, and it shows, you know, the uh, battles are super useless, encouraging uh, just running away from battles and saving everything for the bosses, which even then, the bosses are designed where you need a specific thing sticker, and you kind of just know if you look it up at f first, but when the game came out, you know, you had to go through the fight, and then fight the boss, and then halfway through, you'd realize, you'd see, it's like, oh, uh, Kirstie would be like, oh, Mario, what if you use this sticker? And then you're like, oh, damn it. So you have to exit out the fight, then you have to get the thing sticker, run back, and then get it again. But, I mean, I'm just reiterating things that everyone said about this game. So, I don't know, let's talk about what I liked about the game. You know, you don't hear that much, you don't hear that much, uh, good things about this game, but... Um, I honestly really like the art style, um, even though it's it's different, right? But I really like the cardboard aesthetic and just to give that whole papery feel. So it makes the game a lot prettier in that regard. But not not to say that the first three weren't pretty. Like honestly, they they were really cool. But like the paper aesthetic really gave more life. And uh, even though you know there wasn't too much. To really say, you had your typical uh, grass level, your uh, desert level, your ice level and stuff that you'd normally get from playing the actual uh, platformer games uh, compared to uh, Glitzville 
or uh, the Crag, uh, the, not the Crag Union, but you know, Cragland, uh, all, all of those places, unique places. Um, but still, uh, now I guess we can talk about the worlds because, you know, just looking at all of these come to mind, like just a blast from the past, you know. Um, world 4, definitely the best one, then World 5, uh, World 3, World 2, and then, wo actually, no, I hated World 2, uh, World 1, and then World 2, but, um, yeah, honestly, world design, kind of, they felt very short, and, uh, honestly, not too memorable, like, obviously, there's some landmarks that are super memorable, like the Enig Mansion, uh, the Enig Mansion, Probably one of my favorite parts of the game, but just the whole World 4 aesthetic and World 5, the jungle aesthetic, super cool. Chomp Ruins was such a nice, uh, fresh, see, uh, fresh piece of scenery, you know, uh, compared to the. Uh, I'm kind of just rambling at this point, but like, uh, yeah, Chomp Ruins was really cool in the sense that it was super scenic compared to. You know, everything else that you've kind of already seen, you know, you've seen your haunted house, you've seen your snow levels, and yeah, I'm kind of just like reiterating myself, but, um, still, uh, having six worlds instead of eight, you know, probably, I don't know why they made that decision, I mean, the unfortunate decision of just cutting, gutting all the story, uh, it really did, you know, make the game that much less memorable, and it's, it's, no surprise that this game fell to... Uh, is that Cooper Blooper? Oh, it's all of the bosses! Oh, that's sick! But yeah, it's... it's Yeah, it's uh, not a surprise that a lot of... Uh, this game fell to a lot of people's uh, <laughs> worst video games of the decade. Of the 2010s and all that. But still, uh, uh, with all that aside... And nostalgia side, you know, this game, would I recommend it? Eh, I don't know. I mean, I would, I guess you could say maybe play it once, if, or I guess you just watch, if you watch this entire playthrough, then I mean, I guess you wouldn't have to because I pretty much showed everything the game really had to offer because there's no post game. So once you, once you beat this, you just get sent right back to the Bowser fight. But, um, or just your last save, because it doesn't save. So, and, oh, and we're back. The toads are back. Uh, no more, uh, angry, uh, <laughs> enemies and bosses. But, um, yeah. This was a fun playthrough. I don't know how many times I said that this episode, but I honestly, genuinely had fun doing this. Even though Sticker Star is considered one of the worst Paper Mario games, and are, are rightfully so, because <laughs> this game kind of sucked. But, you know, I haven't played Color Splash or Origami King, so we, we, we don't, uh, or I wouldn't know that just yet. But still, just reliving all this nostalgia again through this playthrough, I had fun. I had a good time just looking through what was good, what was bad, reliving the good moments, and just emphasizing to myself that the bad moments were really bad. And the end. Uh, it's the end, I think. Yeah, it's the end. So that's it. Um. Oh. And you know this whole firework festival, super arts and craftsy. And there we go. We close that. A, a rather cute end. Nintendo and Intelligent. Oh, those are the guys that made Fire Emblem. Which reminds me, I really have to finish. Three houses. And I think it just sticks onto this until you click the A button. Oh, okay, yeah, it saves. A new toad has appeared on the festival grounds. Go and say hello. Okay, so I guess there's more things. Obviously, there's things like you can finish the sticker museum, but we'll do that for another episode. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been Scrags, Scraggy King 20, Matt Nor, however you know of me. And, um,. Yeah, that was Paper Mario Sticker Star. I hope you had a lot of fun watching through this entire playthrough, or if you just watched the last episode, um, then uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, like the video to uh, show support to the channel, and if you really like the video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next series.